you know, over this last three three games without Trey, have you felt the offense has kind of had to evolve or did evolve without him out there? Yeah, you know, Trey's a great player. We all know that. But, uh, you know, we just had to keep 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 what was going and uh, we couldn't fall off because we wouldn't be in the position that we are now. I feel like the offense is, offense is in a really good position and uh, when Trey comes back, uh, I feel like it's going to make us even better. Jordan said yesterday that you guys have basically treated every game since LSU like it's a playoff game. How How is that mentality brought out the best in, 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 in this team? Um, you know, we know that we know we control our own destiny, but we also know every game it really is a playoff game because, you know, three losses, you, you can't, can't do a lot with that anymore. So um, every game is a playoff game. Every day we got to come in and work, and we just got to keep winning. How much do you guys pay attention to, like, rankings that come out tonight, or do you stay away from that kind of stuff? Uh, the rankings are cool, um, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter, like, we're ranked one in the country, and then we go out and lose, so it doesn't matter. So the only ranking that matters is the one at the end of the year. Caden, Lane had mentioned that you've been banged up the past couple weeks. Just how are you feeling after the bye? I'm feeling a lot better than I was. You know, I'm dealing with a, a couple of things, but I feel like the bye gave me some time to get some rest, uh, get some massages, get some work done with some people in uh, Florida, so I feel pretty good. What did you see from Florida on Saturday that kind of sticks out to you? Uh, their defensive line, you know, they have a really impressive defensive line. They play with a lot of confidence, and um, they they were the superior team. And I feel like they felt like they could win that game. So we got to go in strong. Just from your perspective, what has it been like for Trey these these weeks sitting on the sidelines? You know, just as it would be for anybody, everybody wants to be out there. You know, he's he's probably been hard on himself. Uh, I know he's been doing a lot behind the scenes just trying to get back and uh, trying to make this team better. And uh, sorry to ask a question, maybe a little out of order, but for, for next week, I'm, I'm doing something on the Egg Bowl, moving off Thanksgiving. Just curious from, from the player's perspective, is do you like playing on Thanksgiving or is it nice to, to get that day off? How, how do you take that news? Well, you know, for us, it, it won't be a day off. We'll still be here because it's the day before thanks or thank, day after Thanksgiving, so we'll still be here. But uh, playing on Thanksgiving, I feel like it's a privilege because everyone in the country uh, is going to watch the game, turn it on with their family and just stuff like that. For a young player like yourself, I guess, how many games did it about? Did it get you – did you need to get ready for, like, a road SEC atmosphere like you're going to see on Saturday? I wouldn't say it's a number of games. I feel like I just I trust my training. I trust my preparation. I do a lot behind the scenes as well. So I, I just feel really confident when I go out there. And um, I trust I trust myself. So I feel like I'll go out there and do what I need to do. Do you feed off, like, negative energy from other fan bases? No, I mean, um, I feel like it's all about us. We're going to go out. And uh, I feel like we set the tempo. You know, want to be a, not a thermostat thermometer. You know that metaphor. So we gotta we got to set the temperature. Thank you, guys.